Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn how to solve an equation. Let us start with taking an equality and an equation. So 9 minus 4 is equal to 4 plus 1 is an equality. As 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 and 4 plus 1 is also equal to 5. So that means these both are equal. Now x plus 5 is equal to 9 is an equation. Now, to solve an equation or for an equality, we should keep certain points in our mind. First is, if we add the same number to both sides, of a equality or equation it still holds. Second, if we subtract the same number From both sides of a equality or equation, it still holds. Third, if we multiply or divide both sides of the equality or equation by the same non-zero number it still holds. Thus, if we fail to do the same mathematical operation on both the sides of an equality or an equation, then the equality or equation does not hold. Now, let's see how to solve an equation. For this, we will take an example. Suppose, we need to solve the equation 2x plus 6 is equal to 12. Here, x is the variable and we need to find the value of x. So, the given equation is 2x plus 6 is equal to 12. Now, we will go stepwise to separate the variable x on the left hand side of the equation. Now, left hand side is 2x plus 6. So, first of all, we will subtract 6 from both the sides to get 2x. So let us subtract 6. We get 2x plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 12 minus 6. Now plus 6 minus 6 will get cancelled. So this gives us 2x is equal to 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. So we have 2x is equal to 6. Now to get x on left hand side, we need to divide 2x that is left hand side by 2. So, we will divide both the sides by 2 and we get 2x upon 2 is equal to 6 upon 2 which gives us x is equal to 3. Thus, the value of x is 3. Now, we need to check our answer. For this, we will substitute the value of x in the given equation. We have 2x plus 6 is equal to 12. Now, we will take LHS. Let us substitute the value of x. We have 2x plus 6. So, this will be equal to 2 into 3 plus 6. That is 6 plus 6 equal to 12. And RHS is also equal to 12. So, we get 
LHS is equal to RHS. Thus, our answer X equal to 3 is correct. Now, we will solve the same equation using another method that is transposing a number. Transposing means changing the sign of a number or moving it from one side to other side. We can transpose a number instead of adding or subtracting it from both the sides of the equation. In doing so, the sign of the number changes and whatever applies to a number also applies to expressions. So let's take the equation that is 2x plus 6 is equal to 12. And now let's solve this one. Here we have 2x plus 6. So first of all we will transpose plus 6. From LHS to RHS. So we get 2x is equal to 12. Here we have plus 6. So on RHS we will have minus 6. As the sign of plus 6 will change. So this gives us 2x is equal to 6. Now we will divide both the sides by 2. So we get 2x upon 2 is equal to 6 upon 2. And this gives us x is equal to 3. So to solve an equation we can use any of these methods. That is adding or subtracting on both the sides. And Transposing a number from one side to other. Now let's solve one more equation which involves bracket. We have 3 into n minus 5 is equal to minus 21. Here n is the variable. And we have to find the value of n. So here the given equation is 3 into n minus 5 is equal to minus 21. To remove bracket from LHS, we will divide both the sides by 3. So we get 3 into n minus 5 upon 3 is equal to minus 21 upon 3. This gives us n minus 5 is equal to minus 7. Here let us use the method of transposing a number. So let us transpose minus 5 from LHS to RHS and thus the sign of minus 5 will change. So we get n is equal to minus 7 plus 5. So this gives us n is equal to minus 2. Now we need to check our answer. For this let us take the equation. That is 3 into n minus 5 is equal to minus 21. Let us substitute the value of n in LHS. LHS is equal to 3 into n minus 5. So this will be equal to 3 into minus 2 minus 5. Which is equal to 3 into minus 7. That is minus 21. And RHS is also equal to minus 21. Thus LHS is equal to RHS. So our answer n is equal to minus 2 is correct. Thus, in this session we have learned how to solve an equation. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and keep smiling.